I think I'm Big Meech. Uh. Larry who? Do, 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 do. Knock out arrow. Nice. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. Today, <laughs> you know, I don't really like to uh, to talk about rumors and stuff like that. But, you know, they have claimed that an offer's been sent, you know. And um, so we're going to talk about it, man. We got Ryan Garcia versus Earl Spence. They've been going back and forth on Twitter like crazy, man. Y'all could look up the individual tweets. But the tweet that I want to focus on is that this one right here is, is this one right here the offer has been sent the offer has been sent knock out arrow spence nice do 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 knock out arrow nice <laughs> so he, he claims that the offer has been sent for uh arrow spence versus um ryan garcia man that's what ryan garcia has claimed you know um and he said the man has 72 hours to respond that's three days so we have three days for arrow spence to respond now Honestly, do I think the fight's gonna happen? No. Um, but if it did, who would I have? I have Errol Spence by 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 fifth round stoppage. Damn! You know what I'm saying? I think he'll knock him out. However, I will say this though. Um, you know, I, I do think that Ryan Garcia he needs to uh, <laughs> focus on clearing his name fully. You know, he's he's heading in the right direction uh, um, by getting um, uh, uh, passing the test. Of the reevaluation of his previous test and uh, being be, be proved innocent of the Norin, 19 norandrosterone, that steroid. But he still has to prove his uh, innocence in regards to the Austerine. That happens May 22nd. I think that he will prove it, you know, because he just needs a uh, what? Um, they've been talking about a, a one billionth of a gram is present, which is a nanogram, and he should be good, you know. But we shall see. We shall see. We're not going to assume anything one way or the other, you know. Um, so we have May 22nd to, to, uh, to see if he's innocent. And, um, and then we could talk about other fights, but this this is very interesting, man. Errol Spence and Ryan Garcia, they're saying that they'll fight at either 154 or 160. I think I think I think it'll be 154. I think 154 will be more competitive and it'll be more um, advantageous to Ryan Garcia, even though I still think he loses. But I think anything above 154, like if you go to 160, oh, I think he'll get destroyed. But 154, I think it'll be more interesting. But I still think Errol Spence wins. But if Ryan Garcia could f pull out a win, hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. Oh boy! <laughs> Not to be crazy, but like I said, we go, we go, to, we go to focus on him uh, proving his innocence as far as uh, uh, as far as the PEDs allegations, man. Which I think he will prove it. But if not, then I think he should be punished to the full extent of the law. Um, you know, but we'll see, man. You know, we have a lot, a lot of drama, a lot of a lot of drama with Ryan Garcia, man. As the saga continues, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know. Do y'all think that Errol Spence would win, or do you think Ryan Garcia would win? And if so, do you think Ryan Garcia wins at 154 and 160? Or do you think he has a better chance at, at one of the weights or whatever? Or do you think Errol Spence destroys them both? I think Errol Spence wins at 154 or 160. But hey, I'll be interested. Like I said, I don't think it'll happen, but we'll see. Y'all, y'all, uh, don't forget, with God we can do anything, without God we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace! From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.